hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my beautiful people we we'll pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country Fear grips 12 Edo Assembly members elect as INEC okays by election for Kaduna Assembly lawmaker. We know from last year, ever since from last year, uh, there have been um, issues, um, um, crisis within the Edo Assembly to the point that um, they had factions. And um, that the factions, in the sense that some were loyal to Governor Gordon Obaseki and some loyal to the former. Um, governor of the state, the person of um, Adam Sushomale. So they had APC faction and they had a PDP faction as well. That was all because of uh, the the way the, the, the polity was heated up before the September election. Well, right now, fear is gripping um, 12 of these um, assembly members elect as INEC has just taken a decision um, regarding the Kajuna SMT lawmaker everyone everyone is panicking right now well guys we'll bring you all of the details shortly what the decision INEC has just taken and how that um, affects or how that relates to the 12 edo assembly member elect but before we do guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you once again the decision of the independent national electoral commission INEC to conduct by election for sabon gary constituency in the Kaduna State of Assembly has sparked fears in members elect of a Doe Assembly. INEC had in a statement on Friday said it will conduct the by election for the Kaduna constituency on the 19th of June 2021 as a result of the absence of the lawmakers representing the area from legislative activities. The Independent National Electoral Commission INEC has received a communication from the Kaduna State House of Assembly which declared the seat of the members representing Sabon Gari State constituency, Honorable Aminu Abdullahi Shagali, vacant. According to the State Assembly, the vacancy occurred as a result of the Honorable Member's absence without just cause from the one-third of the meetings of the Assembly for one year in contravention of Section 109 of 1F and two of the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria 1999 as amended the statement issued by INEC spokesman festus okoye a source told premium post that the move by INEC to conduct by election in the kajuna seat will be replicated in the edo to replace about 14 seats that have been vacant for almost two years the source who craved anonymity said the Electoral Commission has put mechanism in place to address the various legal issues before announcing the date for the Edo Assembly's by-election. Plantinium Post reports that the seats of 12 members elect of the Edo State House of Assembly were declared vacant by the leadership of the Parliament in December 2019 following their refusal to be inaugurated. The affected lawmakers elect all members of the All Progressive Congress APC and strong loyalists to former Governor of Edo State, Adam Sushomole, had challenged the mode the assembly was inaugurated at night, calling on the governor to issue a fresh proclamation letter. The move by the member elect not to show up for inauguration after several invitations prompted the then Speaker of the House, Frank Okie, to declare the seat vacant the seats declared vacant also included those of two others who did not meet the mandatory seating requirements to continue as member of the house of assembly the affected 12 members elect are v saint uwadia ovia north east two ugeagbe dumez ovia north east one washington osifo Oumunode, victor victor edoro essan central kinsley Ubai, Esako East, and Michael, Ohai, Ezomo, Owa West. Others are Sunday, Agedo, Ovia South West, Chris, Akebe, Oriado West, Crosby, Eribo, Ego, Aliu, Oshomole, Esako West, 2, 
Ushoma Ahmed, Esako Central, and Ganiyu Audu, Esako West 1. The assembly, after declaring these seats vacant, called on INEC to conduct by elections for the affected constituencies within 90 days. The INEC had ignored the call, saying its decision was based on court cases instituted by the affected lawmakers elect. Right now, um, fear is gripping these 12 um, Edo assembly members. You know, these guys, um, they were loyalists to Adam Sushomole. And at some point last year, um, you know what they did? They held um, a separate um, sitting. Normally, it, uh, all of the sittings they are meant to be held within the assembly complex. But they held a sitting elsewhere and they also had a factional speaker as well. But you know, at that time, Governor Gordon Obaseki um, made his position clear and um, stated who he recognizes as the speaker. That those people that met in an undisclosed location, because they actually met in an undisclosed location and um, they had a factional leader. That that um, that leader is not um, is not recognized. But we know after um, Frank Okie um, was um, removed, the drama that went through, he was impeached and later he resigned on his own. The drama that went through after that, Marcus Onobom um, emerged the Speaker of the House. And after over that time, um, calls have been coming up that what is going on because these uh, um, assembly members elect, they are meant to be representing their various constituencies. So whenever there is a sitting, the implication is that there is nobody representing all of um, these uh, constituencies. So we can see what we're dealing with. And uh, as a result of this, you know, calls have been made for INEC to conduct a by election and um, their seats have been declared vacant. But INEC uh, at that point in time stated that um, because um, there were court cases connected to this, um, this issue that um, they are not going to be calling for that. But the same thing that played out in um, Kaduna State, INEC has given a date for the by-election, which has uh, um, sparked fear into the, the members of the Edo Assembly, the members elect of the Edo uh, Assembly, that this is what is going to happen soon for them, that um, a by-election is going to be conducted and their seat is going to be replaced. I don't know if these guys, they are still loyal to Adam Soshomole or they ought to be loyal to the people of the state and serve the state. Well, Regarding the Edo, um, the by-election for Edo, INEC has not stated anything. It was just this Kajuna one that is sparking fear, that has made fear to grip these um, 12 Edo Assembly members elect. It's surprising now that it has been stated that it's over two years now that these seats have been vacant. So there's been no representation for these constituents for over two years. That is not good for the people. Well, my people, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.